What you guys got another video here for you. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a backup image of Windows 7 by using the actual Windows 7 uh, backup utility and also what I'm going to show you how to do is mount that image inside Windows 7 with the built in tool there and also extract any files or folders from that image by just using the Windows 7 uh, built in uh, utility here. So what we're going to do is start off uh, by making our image. I'm going to come down to the start of the all button here I'm going to type in backup. Pretty straightforward. Then click on the uh, backup and restore at the top. From here, we want to create our image. So we're going to create a system image. This is going to create a full image of our system. Now it wants to back it up to a location and it's found a, an actual partition on this drive. Now, really to, and truly this is not ideal as it says here because if the drive failed you would obviously lose your backup image but just for this video I'm going to be using this partition here okay but you should really back up to an external hard drive now this feature down the bottom here is for one or more DVDs that will basically back all your uh, Windows system and all your programs and data onto these DVDs but as time goes on the amount of data you're going to have would mean many DVDs because they only hold about 4.5 uh, gigabytes in size so you can imagine how many you're going to need so just uh, click on the on the hard disk one here go next and as you can see it's going to back up the system reserve uh, system and also the C system which is our uh, Windows drive and it's going to go into our D archive just let this back up now now this is going to take some time depending on the amount of data that you have on the system that it needs to make a mirror image of okay so that's now the backup process complete and it's asking do we want to create a, a system repair disk I'm going to say no here I'm going to close this off I could also close this off what I'm going to do here is come up to the uh, computer right click on this and go manage and from here I'm going to go to disk management now once you get into disk management what you want to do is come up to action and attach a VHD now it's asking to find the location so what we're going to do is locate the actual backup that we've just created so from here we want to go browse and this is the actual files that we're looking for they're in my Windows image backup Brytech-PC backup folder this is the actual uh, location that I saved them to and we want to actually pick the largest one here this is the one with all the files on it I'm going to click open you can see it's a VHD file going to click OK here now you can see it loaded up and now this box is popped up we're going to click open folder to view files and there we have all our files on the system so we can now pull out what we want here so if it was anything that we needed inside here we could pull it out we can go into the actual account and pull off any files that we require from our documents or anything like that pretty simple really and then once we've copied all the files that we wanted to pull out of that image all we need to do then is close this off so we want to click on So what we want to do here is uh, right click on the disk one as you can see here on the, the one that's gone blue this is the one that's mounted that says online I'm going to right click on this and detach VHD you don't want to be right clicking on this because you won't see nothing okay so this is the one you want to do it on detach VHD now you don't want to put the uh, delete in here at all you just want to leave it as it is click OK close it off 
and that's basically it. We've uh, actually pulled out the files that we required and that's how you actually mount your VHD image after creating it inside Windows 7. So I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoyed these videos, please remember guys, hit that subscribe button and also rate and favourite my videos if you enjoyed them. If you've got any video requests, then send me a message on YouTube and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. And I'll be making more videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your support. Bye for now.